Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me today for this exciting announcement from the Technological Development and Integration Team here at Hawkridge Systems. As new cutting-edge technologies are introduced to the world, our team is continuously looking for opportunities to leverage these technologies within our design, manufacturing, and engineering solutions to create a more engaging and efficient experience for our customers. Today represents a milestone in the world of CAD. Over the years, you've likely noticed a gradual integration of VR and AR capabilities into many of our solutions. And while many of our users are already familiar with the concepts of virtual reality and augmented reality, I can promise you that your typical design engineer has never experienced anything quite like actual reality. Introducing SOLIDWORKS Actualize. Have you ever dreamt of being able to physically interact with and feel your designs before they're even prototyped? Here I have a basic CAD model of a bench vise. Boring, bland, unexciting. I can't pick it up, I can't feel it, and I have no idea if it's even as cool as I've been telling everyone that it is. However, with SOLIDWORKS Actualize and a simple VR headset, I'm only a few clicks away from literally holding this model in the palm of my hands. With your desired model loaded, simply activate the SOLIDWORKS Actualize add-in and specify a high dynamic range integrated light mapping neural optic photo, otherwise known as an HDRI element OP file, to generate the actual environment. Then, simply connect any standard VR headset or Google Cardboard to the PC, confirm the connection in the SOLIDWORKS Actualize interface, and prepare for the most surreal design and manufacturing experience of your mortal life. I'm now inside of the HDRI Element OP environment, and let me tell you, my first impression is pure awe at the graphics. I can feel the breeze touching my face. I can actually feel the pine needles on the trees, and I can hear the songs of birds. And of course, Here's our bench vice model, just like we saw in SOLIDWORKS CAD. And it's absolutely incredible to be able to interact with this model and test it for form, fit, and function in actual reality. Now, this model's a little bit heavy. That might need a little bit of a redesign, but it's just absolutely stunning. And I think it's going to bring a tremendous amount of value to engineering and design companies across the globe. Now, it's really important to understand that SOLIDWORKS actualize functions by replicating your physical form and introducing it into the HDRI Element OP environment. For this reason, it's critical that you never power down or take off your headset before first disabling the add-in inside of SOLIDWORKS. Doing so will result in the merging of both planes of existence, erasing your physical form from existence entirely, and trapping you inside the HDRI Element OP environment. Therefore, always be sure that... What is that? Hang on a second. What is that? A blinking light? What is that? A low battery? What's going on? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 no. Somebody call the dev team, please. Somebody call Dale. Somebody call the dev team. Help. Please, 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 please. No, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Mom? Oh my god. What if I have to use the restroom? No, 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 no. Help, help, help. Oh no. Oh god, no. Oh no, no. Oh.